Welcome home racing fans. Well, it's quite a day down here at HRW Skunk Works. We finally have the Pioneer Legends. After a long, long wait, here they are, and just in time for Christmas. So I guess timing is everything. Uh, for those of you new to the hobby, these are uh, these Legend Racers are based on the little 5.8 scale cars uh, with the body styles from the 30s and 40s, little Yamaha engines in them. So they're a little smaller car. We'll get to that size in just a second. But I have to say, uh, w these cars are just just wonderful. I mean, look at them. How cool is that? I love these old body styles. I know a lot of you guys do. And I think that Jules and his team at Pioneer, I think they've done a great job. Markings are crisp and clean. Paintwork is nice. Got a nice shine here, a little clear coat going on. You got really good detail on these wheels and tires. That's something near and dear to my heart. So uh, I really like that. I think the wheels are, are very well done, have a nice scale appeal to them. The interior, which uh, is kind of hard to see, but um, when you peek inside, you're going to see some detail that might surprise you. Uh, of course, there's a little engine detail here as well. Uh, we've already talked about a little bit on our form about these bumpers. They are plastic. They are a standout feature on the car, and they are pretty flexible. You can flex them pretty good. They'll take a pretty good whack, but, you know, we're slot racers. We'll break anything. But that's okay. They'll be spares. Um, again, these are cars that were based on the 5.8 scale Legends. Um, just a very popular class. They are just a blast to watch. You really got to get a, a video of these, and uh, then you'll really appreciate these cars more. But uh, anyway, hats off to Jules and his team. These things look fantastic on the outside, and uh, now it's time to go on the inside. But again, well done. I am so happy to see him. Of course, I forget something. I always do. Let's talk about the axles here where the wheels go on. They are not knurled. They are smooth. I know some people were asking that question on the forums, but they are smooth. Okay, just a bit more on the size of the cars. I have some Skeletric Track out here, which is, of course, uh, one of the most popular brands of 132nd scale track. And as you can see, the cars fit just fine. Uh, the actual scale of the cars by the numbers is right around 130th scale. Um, that's fine by me. If, it's, if it bothers you that they're not smaller or a true 132, then I guess you're just going to pass them up and pass up on the fun. But uh, anyhow, I think they look fine on the track. You know, they're going to work on these tracks and still be a little bit large enough to utilize uh, standard wheels and tires. So I'm happy about that. Anyway, now we're going to get to the inside. All right, here we are under the hood. Again, we have the standard uh, Pioneer Typhoon motor rated at 18,000 RPM. I've bench tested this motor. It goes around 18.7, 18.8, and it just gets faster with break-in. Not a big deal. Gears are 12 to 33. We have a really good strong bar magnet here. Uh, that'll help keep this little rascal pinned down pretty well, I imagine. Of course, it's digital ready. You can see the digital plug in the door. We have brass bushings front and rear. I'll say that uh, there's a little bit of free play uh, in this front. And now I know the axle's moving back and forth, but the bushings themselves are actually uh, moving in here. They're a little bit loose. We'll have to address that. As far as the bushing fit the axle, eh, it could be better back here. It's not that bad, but... Uh, we could do better, um, but that's okay. We'll see what time has to say about that. Anyway, underneath, uh, about the only complaint I really have is uh, this guide. I know it's designed for quick change and everything, but especially for us non-magnet guys, this is just way too much slop. Uh, they're aware of that. I think they're going to try to work on this mold here, but uh, that's okay. The car's still running out of the box, and uh, us advanced guys, us old guys, ah, we'll play around with that. Anyway, as you can see also, don't want to forget the bumpers, um, how they slip in. So basically either or, front or back, and they just go right over the pins. So anyway, that's a quick look inside. Now we're going to do some tires and a road test. <laughs> 